So in this video, we're going to cover what a minimum wage is from the perspective of economics, and all it really boils down to is a price floor in the labor market. So this picture, this diagram I'm going to draw should look familiar. If it doesn't, then I would definitely encourage you go back and look at shortages and surpluses and price floors and pr price ceilings. And then it's just kind of a new application of that and kind of draws some interesting conclusions on to whether or not we should have a minimum wage. So I'm just going to start out with a completely, totally plain vanilla supply and demand diagram. Over here on the y-axis, we're going to put dollars per hour, which will be like the wage rate or the price of labor, if you'd like to call it that. So we can say that this is price of labor. And then on the x-axis, we're just going to have the number of workers hired. And we could also call that Q. So number of workers or Q. And so then we're just going to have a downward sloping demand line and an upward sloping supply line. And so we're going to call this our equilibrium wage, which we'll say is $5 an hour. So that's $5, and I don't know why I'm going to write per hour, so I'll just put a 5 there. And then going down, here is Q, and we'll call that 100 workers. So in equilibrium, at point A, we pay in this labor market, so the market for labor, we'll call it the labor market, and I realize that's kind of repetitive. <laughs> so we have a equilibrium of $5 per hour, and we have 100 workers that are working in this labor market. Maybe this is the market for, I don't know, for Safeway employees. So at this point then, the government comes in and says that this is unacceptable to pay anyone whatsoever $5 an hour. So we are going to mandate that the price now is $10 an hour. So what does this do to the labor market? It creates a shortage, and we're going to see how. So there are now, this, this company only wants to hire. There is only a demand for, let's say, 50 workers. But there are now 150 workers. So this will be 150 workers that want to work there. The supply of labor is 150, and the demand for labor is only 50. So the difference, then, is a shortage caused by this price floor. The price floor or the minimum wage of $10, because the government says that this wage cannot go below $10. So there's downward pressure, but the floor is supporting it. So now we have this shortage, sorry, we have a surplus, excuse me. We have a surplus of labor, and that surplus is going to be 150 minus, this is the quantity supplied, minus 50, which is the quantity demanded. And that all comes out to a surplus of 100 workers. So there are 100 workers that would like to work in this position at $10 an hour that can't get a job there because the market is not in equilibrium because of this minimum wage or price floor on the labor market. So that's really all that I want to say about a minimum wage. It acts like a price floor in the labor market, and then it creates a market inefficiency by not allowing the market to clear. So with that said, I will see you in the next video.